good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have november's 55 man mdt battle royal championship monthly battle royal we got our ring full of competitors 54 men here of course the double champ the undisputed horror and MDT Battle Royal champion Jack Gallagher right here. Guys, as you guys know, he did win the rematch of October's version of the Horror Battle Royal. And today I've decided to reset everything. All the people that were eliminated on the first swipe in October and in the month of September are back. I've went ahead and reset everything. If you were, you know, not supposed to compete this month, I've went ahead and waved everybody. Everybody's good here. And if you've noticed, I don't know if anybody's selected this just yet, but if you notice on the front line here, we have every former MDT Battle Royal champion being represented today. We got the Beast Brock Lesnar, two-time champion. We got Batista, Finn Balor, Luke Harper, Seth Rollins, and Hulk Hogan. And I honestly, I can't remember if Hulk Hogan's a two-time winner. I, I honestly cannot remember. But you know what? Uh, today we're going to see who can survive and win November's edition and see if they can dethrone Jack Gallagher. I think somebody pointed it out in the comment section that nobody has ever went in as champion and came out as champion of the same battle royal. So should be interesting here today, guys. Let's go ahead and get started on November's monthly 55-man MDT Battle Royal Championship Battle Royal. So we got to run through the rules real quick. Obviously, rule number one being if you're eliminated on the first swipe, you cannot compete in December's monthly battle royal. And we'll probably have some special competitors since it will be Christmas time and stuff like that. So the Christmas edition, you don't want to be eliminated from that. Anybody eliminated on this first swipe will not be able to compete in that one. So this is going to be very interesting to see. Rule number two is that the favor of the champion, he is not inserted until the second swipe. So Jack Gallagher will be safe until the next swipe and his championship, of course, will will be hung high above the ring. Um, he will only lose one championship. The horror championship is not on the line today, so we'll have to figure out another way to crown a horror champion, but I have not figured that out just yet. So today, only the MDT Battle Royal Championship is on the line. So I'm going to go ahead and lower this. And we're just going to place this in here. And now that the championship is hung high above the ring, we are ready for our first swipe. Again, remember, you don't want to be eliminated on this first swipe. If you're eliminated from this, you're going to miss the special awesomeness that is the Christmas MDT 55-man battle royal. So here we go with swipe number one. So off the front, guys, it looks like Finn Balor has survived. The former champion, only one foot is up over here. Um, it looks like we got a lot of madness going on. Look at Batista right here, just barely surviving. Him and former champion Luke Harper are getting saved by the by the scaffolding there on the side of the ring. Hulk Hogan didn't quite fall out of the ring either. But we come over here, it looks like uh, our first elimination is Chad Gable. Very sad to see Chad Gable go. He will not be able to compete in December's monthly battle royal. And his tag team partner, or former tag team partner, Jason Jordan, will have to join him as well. So Chad and Jordan are both gone. It looks like the legendary Brett the Hitman Hart is also gone from next month's Battle Royal. Drew McIntyre also gone there with the Elite Nine Drew McIntyre. Um, it looks like Kurt Hawkins is safe on top of there. And oh my god, look at Brock Lesnar, guys, the former champion, the two-time Battle Royal champion. It looks like his right foot, or left foot, his left foot is off the ground. There is a space there. So Brock Lesnar is safe. Make sure I don't eliminate him prematurely. So him and Finn Balor go in the ring there. But uh, it looks like, is X-Pac touching? Oh snap, guys, I think X-Pac may be eliminated here. Let's go ahead and lower this down. Guys, it looks like, honestly, I think X-Pac is eliminated. Like, there, there doesn't seem to be any space there. So X-Pac will be eliminated, but uh, Kurt Hawkins is safe right there. I don't even know how that happened. Look at that. So Kurt Hawkins will be safe. He is uh, surviving to the next round. X-Pac, unfortunately, is gone. Seth Rollins is safe over here. Rusev is safe. It looks like Sami Zayn is safe. So these two guys are going to be safe. And John Cena is safe, I do believe. Um, R-Truth, Sami Zayn, Stardust, all safe. Unfortunately, it does not look like Braun Strowman is safe. He looks to be eliminated back there. Carl Anderson is safe. And I think Randy Orton over here may be eliminated as well. Uh, Mankind barely staying alive there. And uh, yeah, Randy, Randy Orton, I believe, is gone. I'll go back and look at the footage real quick. And uh, Jack Swagger is safe. Oh crap, guys, I almost forgot about the other side of the ring here. It looks like Legend uh, Hot... Oh no, he's, he's up. He is up. His right foot is off the ground. So Roddy Piper will be safe. Unfortunately, I don't think we can say the same about Zack Ryder. Zack Ryder is eliminated. It looks like Daniel Bryan is going to be safe over here. That left foot being off the ground there. Um, I think Johnny Gargano may be uh, uh, eliminated over here. Yeah, Johnny Gargano is gone there. 
and it looks like Dean Ambrose is eliminated back there. All right, guys, here are the men that were eliminated on the first swipe. However, I could not tell after reviewing the footage if Randy Orton and X-Pac were eliminated. I couldn't tell if they moved or something like that. It was very hard to tell, so I'm going to keep Randy Orton and X-Pac in just to be on the safe side. Um, as well with John Cena, when I watched that back, I couldn't tell if he was eliminated or not. But these men right here are going to be eliminated for sure. It is these eight. You have Dean Ambrose, Chad Gable, Jason Jordan, Bret Hart, Johnny Gargano, Zack Ryder, Zach, uh, Drew McIntyre, and Braun Strowman all gone from next month's Battle Royal. Very sad to see them go, but we're going to get ready for swipe number two, and we're going to enter the champion. All right, guys, so we had eight eliminations in that first round, but now it is time to insert our undisputed horror and MDT Battle Royal champion, Jack Gallagher. So I'm going to insert him in the middle. You know how we do for the champion. I don't even think I left him a freaking space, but uh, maybe I can just slide him in here without knocking anything over. It's going to be really interesting, sweet Lord Jesus. All right, we got it. So now we're going to go for swipe number two, and if you're eliminated on this one, you're just eliminated. There's no, you know, repercussions for that elimination. You can still compete in December's monthly battle royal. ton of guys left here, so we're just going to see how many eliminations are on this next swipe. Going to hit the piss out of them. All right, that was a very nice little swipe there. We got a ton of guys outside the ring. So the first thing I see, guys, is Roddy Piper doing a face plant onto this scaffolding right here. The next thing I see is Seth Rollins sort of riding that wave right there. Let's make sure that uh, he gets back in the ring and Kurt Hawkins gets back in the ring and these two guys get back in the ring. That way I don't accidentally eliminate them. It looks like uh, Brian Pillman back there is going to be safe, his one foot off the ground. The champion Jack Gallagher does survive as he is on top of the best in the world, uh, Shane McMahon. So they're both in right there. Next up, it does look like Ric Flair bit the dust, so the suited Ric Flair will be eliminated. It looks like Neville will be safe since his one foot's off the ground. Um, one, two, three kid is eliminated back there, but Tommaso Ciampa is up. So one, two, three kid will be eliminated, but Ciampa is safe. And then we come to the front right here, and we got a, we got a, quite a few things going on right here. I just noticed if I look down, we got TJP and Sting both eliminated, so we need to make sure that they are not, you know, replaced in the ring. So coming down right here, guys, the two-time MDT Battle Royal Champion Brock Lesnar is safe. It looks like Ruru, though. I think Ruru may be eliminated here. Both ankles are touching, so he will be gone. It looks like uh, Boogeyman is gone right here. Both feet touching the ground. It looks like Jack Swagger is also eliminated there. Um, Finn Balor barely staying alive, staying on top of Cian Almas, so he will be inside the ring. Mankind eliminated right there. Looks like X-Pac is eliminated right there. Tyler Breeze also eliminated. So a lot of guys landing on their face here, getting eliminated. Um, Cian Almas, yeah, Cian Almas is touching there with both feet. We got Bradshaw. I think Bradshaw may be eliminated. Um, the bottom of his ankles are touching there, so he will be eliminated. If it's not his ankles, guys, the bottom of his pants cuffs are touching, which if you have pants cuffs, you're automatically eliminated because uh, we have to go by the bottom of your cuffs instead of your boots, so he will be gone there. Um, Kevin Owens, that ultimate fix-up Kevin Owens is safe. Stardust is also safe. Oh, snap, I think, uh, is Curtis Axel eliminated? Yeah, Curtis Axel is eliminated. It looks like R-Truth is also eliminated, so both of these guys are going to be gone. We have Bobby Roode, the glorious Bobby Roode. Yeah, his both of his are touching there, so he will be eliminated. And I think the, oh, snap, Tyler Breeze barely surviving. Tyler Breeze barely surviving right there. So Tyler Breeze will be in, but it looks like the remaining three, Rick Roode, Carl Anderson, and Randy Orton, are unfortunately eliminated. All right, guys, we had, I think, 18 eliminations in that last round. I can't remember, um, but we are down to 29. 29 guys rem remain here in the MDT 55-man Battle Royal for the Battle Royal Championship. I'm going to hit it with swipe number three, and we're going to see who's moving on. Jesus. All right, so I knocked down my crowd. I also knocked down my yellow, like, little wall there that does, you know, uh, keep the figures from falling out of the back there. I'm going to go ahead and stand this back up real quick and go ahead and stick the championship back up. And now let's go find out who was eliminated. So it looks like Hulk Hogan was the only one remaining in the ring along with Neville faceplanting on the scaffolding. That seems to be a theme in this video, just a bunch of guys hitting their face on that scaffolding. 
But uh, coming down right here, it does look like Tommaso Ciampa is going to be eliminated, so he will join his former tag team partner, Johnny Gargano, on the eliminated side of things. Um, right here, look at this. Seth freaking Rollins staying alive on top of Stardust and eliminating Stardust. So Seth freaking Rollins will be moving on, the former champion, but unfortunately, um, Stardust will not be. Stardust is eliminated there with both feet touching. Um, he is going to be joining Roddy Piper. Roddy Piper flew all the way over here. So them three will be eliminated. It looks like Macho Man is also eliminated here. Um, oh my God, look at look at freaking John Cena and Sami Zayn standing completely up. And I'm pretty sure John Cena's, no, his foot's totally touching right there. So his other foot, we're going to have to somehow uncover that. I don't know how we're going to do so. Um, I don't know if there's going to be indisputable evidence to in order to eliminate him here. But before we get to that, we do have Ultimate Warrior. He is going to be safe. It looks like Kurt Hawkins is also going to be safe. And Brock Lesnar is going to be, I cannot tell here with Brock Lesnar. I think he's eliminated. Yeah, guys, the former two-time champion Brock Lesnar will be eliminated. He is not safe today. Um, Bo Dallas is safe here. Jack Gallagher is also safe there. Um, Lex Luger, I'm going to have to go back at the tape and see if he was eliminated. So i got to put him in the maybe pile. Um, let's see. Uh, it looks like Dash Wilder is safe. He will be fine. Finn Balor is safe. He's on top of there. Brian Pillman is safe. So both of these guys are good to go. I'm trying to go very slow here because I don't want, you know, people to follow and whatnot. Kevin Owens is safe here. Um, JTG, he's actually a very special case here. You see his foot is touching right there. On the other side, though, he has pants cuffs. And you guys know the rule about pants cuffs. Um, so he is eliminated. One foot's down and then the pants cuff of the other leg. Since he has, like, a unique mold, he will be eliminated there. Batista is safe, though, so he will come up here. Um, Luke Harper is... Ooh, I cannot tell about Luke Harper. No, I think he's fine. His right foot is off the ground there. Shane McMahon is... Oh, snap. I think Shane McMahon's gone. I think Shane McMahon's gone. I think Bushwhacker right here may be gone. Um, JTG is definitely gone, though. But uh, let's go ahead and just move Luke Harper. I think John Cena was out, guys. I mean, I, I'll, I'll keep him in, I guess. But, I mean, I, I think he was gone. But we'll just keep him in just to see how it goes. You know, indisputable evidence and whatnot. Shane McMahon as well. Um, I'll have to look back at the tape. And I think Bushwhacker is also safe. I'll just keep them all in just so you know what I'm saying. I don't have to um, keep redoing it or whatever. I think that uh, we'll just see what happens. Daniel Bryan's gone. Sami Zayn is also gone. Uh, it looks like Corey Graves is safe. Mark Henry is safe. So these two guys are gone. And I think Razor Ramon, actually, Razor Ramon, the bottom of his pants cuffs are touching as well. So if we move Corey Graves. So I can't tell. I'm going to have to just do some reviews here. I'm going to rewatch the film here and see if Lex Luger and Razor Ramon were eliminated. I'm pretty sure Razor Ramon was, but Lex Luger, I'll for sure have to watch the film. So after those nine elimination guys, we are down to 20 competitors. Lex Luger was not eliminated. I have him right here. So uh, I did check the film. He is safe, but Razor Ramon was eliminated. So now we're down to the final 20. We're going to see how this thing goes. We still got, you know, some former champions in here. Batista, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Luke Harper, and of course, Hulk Hogan. And the current champion, Jack Gallagher, still safely sound. So let's move on and see if we're going to crown a new champion. All right, I slammed the crap out of them. That way we can see if uh, we can get everybody outside that ring. So the first thing I completely noticed, guys, is that the undisputed champion, Hulk Hogan, that has just been seen to be, like, dominant in these battle royals, is eliminated. So Hulk Hogan will be gone, and that is a big upset there. So Hulk Hogan doesn't last as long as we thought there. Uh, Hulkamania will not be running wild here. It looks like the best in the world, Shane McMahon, also bit the dust here as his feet are touching and it looks like uh, ultimate warrior also met that same fate in the back back there so both of his feet are touching there so ultimate warrior will be eliminated finn balor still staying safe on top of Corey graves right there it looks like john cena and luke harper are also safe right here um Corey graves Corey graves looks to be eliminated guys so Corey graves will be eliminated there it looks like Lex Luger, uh, yeah, his, his toes are totally touching, so he will be gone. It looks like Kurt Hawkins also bit the dust here in this late round. We got, oh, is the champion, is the champion Jack Gallagher eliminated here? No, I don't think so. I think there's a sliver of space there 
between his foot and the turf. So Jack Gallagher will survive another round. Pretty impressive by Jack so far. Uh, Mark Henry. I think Mark Henry is also gone there. Uh, Bushwhacker. Let's go ahead and slide Mark Henry this way. I think Bushwhacker is also gone. Yeah, and I think if we lift up Bushwhacker, yes. Tyler Breeze, Mark Henry, and Bushwhacker are all gone there. We got some more guys over here. It looks like Batista and Seth Rollins are safe on top. Remove them softly. Um, Brian Pillman eliminated. Dash Wilder eliminated. Bo Dallas eliminated. Um, Neville? Oh, God, guys. Neville is also eliminated. We had, like, so many eliminations in this round. I think Kevin Owens, the ultimate fix-up, Kevin Owens is also gone. So we had a ton of eliminations in this next round. So after 14 eliminations in that last round, guys, we're down to our final six. That was absolutely insane without how many eliminations we had in that round. But now we're going to get down. This could be the final swipe. Who knows? MDT Battle Royal Championship on the line. We're down to, like, a bunch of former champions here. We got Batista, Seth Rollins, Finn Balor, Luke Harper, and the current champion, Jack Gallagher. And then the one-off man, John Cena, who has never won the MDT Battle Royal Championship. Let's see how this swipe goes. Look at this, guys. We had, like, oh, my God. I think we may be down to one or two here. Uh, I know for a fact, starting off, that Luke Harper is definitely eliminated right here. Um, I hate to say it here, but Seth freaking Rollins is also eliminated with Batista. Batista is face down there. Seth Rollins is also touching on both feet here. And that that's down to three. And then we have John Cena, whose left foot is clearly off the ground there. John Cena is good. Finn Balor's foot is off the ground there. And then Jack Gallagher, the current champion, looks to be eliminated. And that will be the end of... And, you know, uh, he came in, he was red hot, he came all the way down here, and Jack Gallagher will move on, and no longer MDT Battle Royal Champion, but he is still the MDT Horror Champion. We're down to our final two, John Cena and Finn Balor. So this is it, guys, the finals. We're down to the final two. My boy John Cena and my boy Finn Balor. I'm going to be happy either way with this one. You know, Finn Balor, a former champion, he could join Brock Lesnar as, you know, one of the only ones to ever be a two-time champion. This is going to be very exciting finals. I'm going to give it a barrel, you know, just barely tap it to see if it'll land on camera. That way we can slow-mo video it and make sure that we get the right champion crown. But here we go with the final swipe. Oh, crapsies. I think Finn Balor got it, guys. I think Finn Balor may have gotten it. He landed on top of John Cena, and John Cena's feet are touching here. Uh, I'm going to have to go to the replay video, but I'm pretty sure Finn Balor is safe. You guys can clearly see his leg on top of there. I'm going to have to go to replay to review, and I'll show you guys when it's over. Look here, guys. You guys can see John Cena hits first, and we didn't get it completely on camera, but you guys can clearly tell that Finn Balor, Finn Balor actually lands... Um, a little bit, uh, he lands a little bit after John. So you guys will see it here again. John Cena hits, and then Finn Balor comes down on top of him right there. So I think it's safe to say that the new MDT Battle Royal Champion and the only, I think it's the second ever two-time MDT Battle Royal Champion is the Demon King Finn Balor. He has done it. He has overcome the odds here. He has reclaimed what is rightfully his, and that is the MDT Battle Royal Championship. So now he will be up there on the Balor shelf with all of the rest of my Balors and including the MDT Battle Royal Championship. Thank you guys so very much for watching the November edition of the 55-man MDT Monthly Battle Royal for the MDT Battle Royal Championship. Finn Balor did a great job here today, outlasting all the 54 other men. Jack Gallagher obviously came up a little bit short, but he is still the horror champion. That is something to take note of. Again, I'm trying to figure out, you know, exactly how I'm going to defend that thing. But I will figure it out. I'm going to start doing some MDT Live now after this Battle Royal since, you know, uh, I can't do the Battle Royal until after filming is done for Vindication. Vindication's done. MDT Live's supposed to start now, so i got to switch out the ropes, switch out the the arena here and get to work. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.